All right, as you can see, we have ourselves quite a mess with the G3. We are working on some issues that we've been having. The Trolla motor, um, the steering, the jack plate, kind of just a cluster of things all of a sudden have just happened. So we finally uh, dug into it now that the steering broke and we're taking our time and picking these problems apart and uh, getting them working. Um, well, we got Miss Olivia, she's got old bullet casing. Yep, that's from hunting. It was in the back of the truck. Yep. Um, so our steering cable popped, so we got that disconnected. Um, we pulled our cable out here. So we're gonna have to snake this through the boat, which we pulled some covers off um, for the lines and we'll have to get up in there and disconnect from the helm. Pull the cable out to run the new hydraulic steering, which we had come in yesterday. So this will be exciting. We got that's in. Um, so we're gonna go through this kit, kind of show a little video of that, disassembly, reassembly, the process. It's pretty straightforward. Um, a lot of guys have already done this. Um, our trolling motor issue was something with the power, with the fuse block thing. So we uh, hardwired and it's getting power. So now we know that was the issue was the fuse. So we can take care of that. And then the jack plate was the same thing. It was another, some similar fuse, inline fuse system. Uh, fuse relay that was having an issue. So now we can take care of that. We got all that stuff working. Um, we're gonna clean up some wiring and then run this hydraulic steering. I'm thinking about possibly doing this floor while we're at it because it's getting the paint peeling up and you know, re-rivet it down, strip it and get some new paint on it, get it nice again. Keep it a little bit cooler too during the summer of the heat. But bunch of projects. Just a Stay shout out too. This is a GoPro that my buddy John childhood friend of mine has uh sent me because i was having issues with mine waiting for the warranty one to come back and stuff so thanks to him we're up and going again we're getting a couple videos moving um just wanted to say thank you to him it's awesome uh so we will have two cameras here in the future running so we'll be able to get some cool angles maybe edit some cool videos together now with uh, multiple angles um excited to see what we can do but get back on videos because it's been a while and i know all of you have been asking so stay tuned, we'll be hammering some videos out for you. Um, a little bit of how-to stuff and then we'll be getting in to more fishing and I'm gonna try to do some more stuff with just me kinda having some fun and joking around and more of my character. So you guys enjoy, thanks for the support. Okay, so we got under here, disconnected the steering, pulled our cover off so we could snake our old stuff out of here. Got the old cable out over there. Got the old transducer off, we got our new cable for that, but we got a get our hydraulic lines, get our cylinder, our ram on there, run it through, disconnect this old helm still, um, and try to get it all back assembled and bleed the line. So let's get this going. All right, so we have our helm installed up there. We just got the ram on for the hydraulic steering. A um, little more involved than what I was thinking. We had to really get in and clean up where these pins went, where the uh, hydraulic, or the cable steering was before. Uh, this was a little different for the helm where the bolding pattern was, so we had to adjust some stuff for that. Being we already had existing, it's making it all a little more work. Uh, if this is new, it wouldn't be so bad, but. And this, uh, for this model, it says that you need a spacer for in here. Um, so we had to find a nut that worked for it. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll see if it has any play or not once we get it hooked up and put it under load, but. Um, other than that, we turn these fittings around and now we're getting ready to get our lines ran. We got to try to snake them through. Snake them through here. And then it's going to come out and around and then go up into the console. So we're going to try to fight that now. All right, so we got our lines ran. We got the ram on. Everything's connected. We just have to tidy up a few things for the location of everything but we got the wheel on um bay star uh seems to be good so far we'll have to get it on the water and test it but everything works as it should nice and smooth really easy and of course somebody's calling when i'm trying to do this but the only thing i didn't like is uh they give you container with the bleed lines and everything to fill up to drain to do all your uh venting but uh they want you to poke a hole in the bottle and 
stuff so you can vent it and the top so you hold it upside down so you can make sure you don't get any air in the line. But their cap for their drain tool piece, they put the pin in so now it has a hole in it. So when you screw it onto here, it leaks when you're trying to sit there and do everything. Seems like something pretty stupid that they would have thought about instead of sticking a pin in the side of your cap. But whatever, I found a rubber piece for a garden hose and we just set in there and that way it sealed it so we didn't make too bad of a mess but you can still see a little bit um, just dumb idea on their part they need to make a better better idea for that when they're coming up with their drain thing instead of sticking a pin in the side of the cap um, other than that pretty good we're going to take and clean the boat off and uh, get all the fluid off and then we're going to probably do some stuff with this before we put the cover plates back on and everything. I want to do some more to the boat. And then we'll get out and test it and see how it does. But it seems like we got all the air out the second second go around after we were able to get a couple of times back and forth with it. So excited to see how it is. It seems awesome, really easy to turn now. So be able to get our uh, first mate, Junior, he'll probably be able to start driving the boat for us now. But not bad, Baystar, expensive compared to some of the knockoff stuff, but comes with the fluid, comes with some bleeding lines and other stuff. And you know, it's a name brand product, it's been around. So we're gonna see how it works out and uh, go from there.